Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys this new Hot Tools Quiet Air Power Dryer. So I think this came out about maybe six months ago. I'm really not sure. And I just want to start off by saying that I bought this with my own money. Hot Tools did not send this to me. I did not receive it for free. They are not sponsoring this video. They did not ask me to do this video. So I'm going to do an unboxing for you guys. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use this attachment and the diffuser. The diffuser I will be using on my hair. That is why it is wet right now. And I will give you my honest review at the very end. I did read some good reviews, some bad. I don't know. I guess it just really depends on the person. But the common denominator that I've been noticing is that people don't think this blow dryer is powerful. And I'm going to see for myself if it has power or not. So the reason why I wanted to get a new blow dryer is because not that anything was wrong with my old one, but oops, this is my blow dryer. Okay, it's just your standard size blow dryer. And then here's the attachment. To me, this is really long. Now I'm five foot three, so that means that pretty much anybody and everybody is taller than me. So when I blow dry a client's hair and it's time to blow dry the top of the head, I'm looking at going <laughs> really high with my blow dryer. And as you can see, it's never a good idea to have your elbow above your shoulder because you will have some shoulder pain along the way, if not right away. So to me, this is already way too long and I just, I couldn't handle it anymore. Just given by the picture, it is shorter. So let's unbox it. You saw me bring out the diffuser and I had read that these you know fingers is what they call them it's rubbery and yeah it's definitely rubbery so we'll see how that goes for my hair um, I read that this is very nice and it's soft on the head so we'll see it makes sense because normal diffusers are plastic and as someone who diffuses her hair yeah sometimes the tongs will hit my head and it kind of hurts <laughs> So we'll see how that goes in a second. Now, I think the blow dryers are basically the same. So here's the difference in size. Look at that. How can I show you? Let me see. I'm gonna line this up as best as I can. So I'm already losing all of that length there. Now, the reason why I say um, I think this is about the same is because this one has 1,875 watts, 125 vac. Sorry, I don't know what that means, but uh, also 60 hertz. This one, it doesn't say it on here, but it does say on the box. It also says, I just read you, where are you? Right here, 1,875 watts, 125 vac. I'm so sorry, I don't know what that is. And 60 hertz. So to me, it's probably going to be the same blow dryer, which is great because I'm just looking for a smaller size. This one has three levels of heat and only two levels of speed. So let's go with, I'm going to show you this one first. Let's do high heat and high speed. Ready? Okay. I'd say that's pretty standard. Now let's try this one. So this would be high. Let's go. That definitely sounds quieter. So I am so excited to try this. Okay, so now I'm gonna start diffusing my hair. So I just wanted to add that I did apply these products before diffusing my hair.
Okay guys, so I didn't completely dry my hair. Like it's still wet back here, but that's just preference on my part. But my hair is pretty much completely dry like up here. That's amazing. That was really, really fast. So I'm really impressed with it. And then I tried to show you guys, um, but yeah, this is really soft. It's really nice. I am kind of afraid that I may break it or rip it, uh, but it's really nice against the scalp. I'm really impressed by it. Now I can definitely see what people mean by it doesn't have power, but I equate power with the noise level. I think it's just because people are used to really loud. Normally loud um, blow dryers are also really powerful and they feel like they're gonna get away from you. Um, but I'm happy with this. I think this is powerful and definitely much quieter. It was actually really soothing and nice to diffuse my hair because with this blow dryer, it's just, it's kind of noisy around the ears and it kind of hurts. So I always have to like go around the ears, which you should anyway. But as far as noise, it would hurt my ears. And this one, it was really nice to blow dry. I, I didn't even realize that it wasn't hurting my ears till right now that I'm talking to you about it. Like I said, my hair dried within like three minutes. So two more minutes and I would have the backside completely dry as well. This is just preference. Um, the reason why I don't like to dry the back of my head is because I get really hot around my neck. So I like to keep cool as long as possible and I just like to diffuse the top so I have volume. So that's why I didn't completely dry my hair. I kept it on medium heat and I guess low speed. That's just how I like to diffuse my hair so that way it doesn't get too frizzy. But I, guys, I'm really excited to try it out on the client. I, I think it's a keeper already, but I will test out the attachment on my doll head. She does need a wash. So to wash the hair, I used my Design Me Gloss Me Hydrating Shampoo, and then I applied the Design Me Gloss Me Hydrating Treatment Mask for about 5 minutes. After that, I applied the Design Me Fab Me Leave-In Treatment to detangle the hair, and after detangling, I applied my Design Me Puff Me Volumizing Mousse. So because the hair is still really, really wet, I'm going to set my blow dryer at medium heat and the lowest setting. I didn't feel like the lowest setting was doing much to the hair, so I went ahead and I switched it to the highest setting. Now that the hair is about halfway dry, I'm going to apply my Design Me Gloss Me Hair Serum all over the hair. I like to section the hair off in a zigzag pattern rather than a straight line so that way there's no demarcation line once the style is done. A zigzag pattern will help to blend the sections together once I put everything down. When it comes to removing moisture from the hair, you will want to blow dry the hair in all kinds of directions. That's why I keep switching from underneath to on top to the side. That's just to remove the moisture. If you want to add a nice curl to the end of that section, then you are just going to continue turning the round brush in your hand and then you will remove the blow dryer as you're turning the brush in your hand and you will just let go. 
If you want to add volume to a section of hair, then you're going to take that section into the round brush and just bring it all the way up and make sure you go through that entire section. If you want your blow dry time to be cut in half, then you will do what I did earlier and that is rough dry the hair to about 50 to 80% dry and then go in with the round brush to finish off the style. portion of this video and now for my final thoughts and final review well what I did notice while I was bow drying my doll head's hair was that it actually feels heavier so to compare it with my other one I would say this one is more top heavy so like let me put this down this portion feels heavy to me but it's still lighter than this one this one feels heavier from the handle and slightly from the head here. Um, I would say a con like I showed you earlier is hair getting stuck here and I even had hair get stuck here. You know, if you are blow drying hair the way I do, then you're gonna come across that problem unless you learn how to work with it. So that's something I'm gonna have to be careful with because I may hurt the client by pulling their hair that way. It's definitely a lot shorter even with the attachment. Like with the attachment, it's the same size as this iron alone without the attachment. So I feel like I gained, I gained a lot of length there. So I'm trying to take this off and it's not coming off, which is a good thing. There we go. I would definitely say give this a try. I definitely will be keeping it. I had noticed in someone's review that the hair, the hair, the air coming out of this blow dryer isn't as hot. Well, it's pretty hot on the highest setting. On the medium setting, it's warm. It's not too cold, it's not too hot. But you know what, honestly? I have experienced where I would go out with my hair wet and I would have the car window down and just from the cold wind air, my hair dried. So I don't think heat is an important factor so much. I know heat can help to add shine to the hair, but products can do that as well. But also cold air can add shine to the hair. So I wouldn't knock off the warm setting not being so hot as a reason not to get this blow dryer. That's not really a big concern for me because you really just need any kind of air to dry hair. I don't know if maybe this was already getting too old and it's just not working as well, but I definitely felt blow drying much smoother with this one. So besides the fact that this blow dryer is heavier than my other one, and that the hair does get caught in the attachments, but honestly, hair gets caught in the attachments no matter what, just because it is thin enough to go through that little space. So I think you're gonna get that with any blow dryer. But mainly, the main con is it is heavier than what I'm used to, but I think the benefits outweigh that, and I will definitely be keeping it. So once again, Hot Tools is not paying me to do this YouTube video on their blow dryer. I am doing this all on my own because I was genuinely interested in getting a new blow dryer and this one caught my eye. And so if you guys are interested in purchasing one for yourself, you can get it directly from hottools.com or you can get it at Ulta if it's still in stock. Cause I think they're out of stock. I'm not sure at the moment. Um, where did I purchase this? Amazon. I purchased this at Amazon. And if you're a salon professional, you can get it at Salon Centric for uh, I believe 82 to $85, that's what it is right now. Um, but from Hot Tools and Ulta, it's $120. So I decided to get it from Amazon and I paid the full price rather than getting it Salon Centric because I didn't know Salon Centric had it when I ordered it. So, oops. But also, honestly, if I ended up not loving this so much, I just wanted to return it hassle-free. So for me, Amazon, has the best return policy. Well, that's it for today, guys. I thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you guys are enjoying my channel. Also, go follow my Instagram page at Hair by Princess Severus. And if you guys do all that, I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe out there, count your blessings, and keep it humble. Bye.